Say it's not so. It's possible. Okay. Uh, it could be that it's a different month. Okay. Or it could be that it's two weeks away. But I mean, we can buy Spectrum tickets two weeks in advance. Is that your hero? No, uh, it's available for the animals. Brian, what's your hero look like? Bear, cougar, uh, cleric. Cleric? Heavy? Oh? Oh no, you had like a blue Okay, one. are you ready? <laughs> Dave, are you ready? I'm losing minis. We have an 8.30 or an 11.30. What, what arms? What's left to go to Yeah, exactly. 8.30 a.m. or p.m.? 8 p.m. So if we go to the 8.30, we can get to the theater at like 5? Eight, actually eight, eight thirty and eleven. In IMAX. IMAX is eight and eleven. So if we go at eight, we have to get to the theater at five. Yes. Is that reasonable? On, at fri on Friday? Yeah. Is that reasonable for you? Yes. Yes for me as well. All right. Maybe a little after. So that's eleven one. 13 at 8 o'clock. Correct. And do I also walk before we're playing Do I get to buy that my contacts? Worst case scenario, backup, secondary plan, we don't get IMAX and we have to do the normal at 8.30. Worst, 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 we wait till 11. So, I mean, those are some, uh, you know, contingencies. Are you going with us? Wait, what is this? This is next week? We're also playing d, &D. Did you get the email from Dave talking about... Yeah, what's it called? Uh, extra Life. Extra Life. Have you heard of Extra Life? I do have your email address, and I didn't send it to you. So, Extra Life. Are you familiar with walkathons? <laughs> you know walkathons? Yes. You do something pretty trivial, and people pay you money for a certain charity. Now, Extra Life is very similar. We do something trivial, and people give you money for a very important charity, such as Chalk. Chalk is a charity here, and you know what they're paying us, or we're doing, as opposed to walking? We're playing Dungeons & Dragons. This is sensible. I think it's very sensible. And we're doing this for our As we found out earlier, exercising is actually unhealthy for you. Right. And playing D&D improves brain function. How can you improve brain function? Once you reach the superior level, <laughs> how do you get any higher? Fair enough. Right. I mean, really. Yeah. Yeah. No, it makes sense. There's nowhere to go. Yes. I mean, you can't even go any higher. Well, Unless you're Sly Stone. Or the monk. <laughs> or doing a bunch of acid. <laughs> I think that's going yeah, through. So you can, <laughs> <laughs> okay. so you can uh, move and then charge. I think it's transcension. Transcension? Transcension, yes. Uh, I understand that they have a new color in the rainbow uh, flag for transcension. Yes. And you can only charge half the distance. So if you have a move 30, you can move 30 and charge another 15. All right, and Derek, you now know more of the rules than we do. Yep. Fine, man. What? You guys haven't downloaded the package? Never. He's got the package. Downloaded, yeah. Yes. <laughs> ready? No. The only RPG book I own is Road Trader. You're ready to go, dude. Road Trader. Just, just be awesome. Completely different system. So. And then, uh, that's, that's the system I'm most familiar character? with is yeah, Road Trader. <laughs> and other simpler RPG games. Actually, this should be a zero. This is a minus one. Oh. Oh. So all, all your bonuses are messed up <laughs> otherwise. Apparently he's got slots. So it's assault two, but you're in the fire. Yes. You've got to by two round outs. I hate that. <laughs> oh.
might be level game. five. Six. Not yet. <laughs> I think everybody oh, might go up to level four after this one, and then yeah. ooh, it's the final one for the next week. I would hope. Right. Um, I don't know who I gotta kill and I'm gonna get experience. I think I'm gonna put a charisma plus But there's a bard over there and he looks like an easy target. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're, we're, we're drinking buddies. I play music, you drink, it works out. How much experience for the bard? And then uh, you have a plus two cushion. You are said to what I love you forever. You're, you're a monk. How high is your wisdom? Um, what that is is if I ask you to make a saving throw, yep, yep. get add your proficiency so bonus. Yeah. Say, make a strength save. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Make a deck save. I can use it any time, just once. Uh, no, it's always just, that's for everything. Yeah, it's basically everybody, everybody sort of put on that level, level playing ground. Right. Everybody has plus two. Right. Um, so everything. That's yeah, great. Level, that's plus two. We'd probably so run into that same rate. So 19 so, plus four, so this DC so is only 14. From you, I can start off with eight. Plus six. Fourteen. Are you up to third level? Yeah. Uh, yes. Great. I think I rolled three on my hit deck. <laughs> you made your character, or did you choose? You're okay with all your stats and everything. So yeah. Okay. Oh, not bad. I'm second level. Second level? Actually, I'm second level spells, third level hit points. Because I don't have the extra spells. I don't have any of the, the charts to figure out how much I have. Well, at third level, you only do get second. You get four first and two second, I believe. Four first? I think. How about zero level? Four. Uh, your count chips are, um, are, you can cast them unlimited amount of times, but you only get like two of them unless you got something else special. I have three and three. Three cantrips? Three cantrips. I think this is the better table. Oh yeah, so far, dude. <laughs> Actually, I have four first level, three cantrips. Just stay behind the monk, that's my theory. <laughs> stay behind the monk. You should have charging second level spells. Stay behind me. <laughs> On top of the three, and I have three cantrips. Yeah, four, four first level spells. between him and the monk. Two second level. That's spells per day, man. Are you spells per day. No fighting. I'm, I'm in the back of the range. You can only memorize Dude, four power. total spells. Pew pew. You can only really memorize four, except for the cantrips. Yeah. The, the cantrips, cantrips are fixed. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine. You sure? We'll be able to listen to spells. Get the packet, Brian. Come on, man. Uh, you guys might get the packet? No, dude, I can't sign an NDA. <laughs> Why not? My legal department has to review them first. <laughs> 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 what am I supposed to do, man? I, I think you're, I think you're hiding. About what? I think you're hiding behind the legal department of your company. <laughs> Again, I thought you were going to stop that word no. early. <laughs> what? I work for United. You're hiding. We're an insurance yeah. coach. Oh, okay. <laughs> Same thing, just without the ding. I have magic rings. How many? Sharing them? All right, one down right here. One magic ring. All right. <laughs> do you want to buy for it? No. <laughs> no, unless you so, cast a lot of fire spells. What's a gentle rapo say? Somebody's <laughs> dead. Gentle repost. <laughs> repose? Yeah. There's no T. Yeah, I'm, I'm using the French pronunciation. No, it's repose. Repose. <laughs> repose. 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 But like there's a C with one of those squiggles under it. This is acrylic. <laughs> Cyrillic. Cyrillic. C with the squiggle. Cyrillic. That's in French. That's in French. All, well, that, does, all that does is protect it from becoming undead. Um, keeps the body oh, fresh. Thank, thank you for actually cutting through the... <laughs> the rape of say. That's more or less what happened. You basically put them like this. <laughs> and then they don't rot. I'm grabbing whole person. Whole person? Because that's the only way I'll get a girlfriend. <laughs> Girlfriends? Are we ready? Oh, We're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm feeling ready. What's prayer of healing? Alright, um, last week, essentially this is a city adventure. 
It's taking place at the city of Baldur Gate. Uh, there's been multiple things that have happened. The heroes initially got renowned as uh, heroes of the wide for helping uh, kind of break up the Japanese in their tent. What happened was uh, the mayor of the city, no? uh, one of the high uh, noblemen, uh, murdered. Why not? Um, oh, yeah, get out of here. No one? Oh, yeah, I got it. Uh, uh, there's been a power battle. Oh, Different factions have been kind of like uh, vying for oh, power sure. within to gather the things. Uh, there's the guild, which is uh, <laughs> well, the history of the underworld and the thieves. Okay. Well, ever since uh, the Bond Guild. No, no. Oh, the Raven Guild, who's the Paladin. Basically, oh, the oh, the oh, the oh, and then there's oh, the oh, 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 Kind of them battling out. What's happened is a lot of different meetings and things have happened where um, basically the rich get richer and, and, and get more protection and the poor kind of get thrown into the dark. Occupy like Baldur's, Baldur's Gate. Gate. Exactly. Uh, you know, the trash stopped for like a couple weeks because uh, nobody was paying the uh, trash bin. Nobody really. Uh, there's been a, a, a heavy levy on taxes where uh, more people and non non nobles can can wear rich items. They can't wear fancy clothes or jewelry. Uh, duels have been enacted so that you can actually if you get um, upset somehow, you can actually challenge somebody to a duel. And <laughs> somebody interferes with the duel. You know, uh, they're out of The guard have become even more of like a stormtrooper dictatorship. Uh, uh, they, the ODST. Exactly. The flaming fist have like, come down hard on the guild who uh, have been behind a couple of different 17. things. 17. Uh, yeah. Stolen statues, <laughs> uh, uh, stealing of cash boxes. Yeah, um, you know, cats and dogs living together, it's just going crazy. So, cats and dogs <laughs> living together. In sin. Everything's going in hell. sin. You can't trust anyone because like, everyone's what is this? Amen. Exactly. Quick question. Amen. Does alcohol have weight? Yes, it does. Damn. <laughs> have you tried his ale? <laughs> have you mead? Mead or ale? Because I broke ale. a game before. Yeah. Because yes. alcohol had no weight, so I looted an entire bar <laughs> and carried it with me. <laughs> We allowed it. To, you could drink it and get lose one insanity. Okay. <laughs> Liquid courage. Yeah. Um, in this game, it's a little bit different. Um, it gives you disadvantage. Advantage, yeah. disadvantage. Don't advantage. You roll two dice with the highest d20. Disadvantage. You roll. Um, what happened last week was a, 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 a huge riot. Everything kind of, kind of came to a boil. People were kind of like blocking off. There were all these gates in Baldur City that separate out different streets and factions and neighborhoods. Um, you pay a toll to go from gate to gate. Um, and what happened is uh, these main gates that basically were all the, all the people that go and have their shops in the wide, they started to close the gate down at 3 o'clock so they had to close their shop early. Call out or out at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon to make a beer. And so they couldn't sell their stuff as much. So they're making less money. Stuff is piling up at the ship docks because they're not being able to do it as much as hard work they need to close their early. Um, all this is because, you know, there's been murders, there's been thefts, all this other stuff. And that's why the, the, the Flaming Fists have kind of grabbed up more power that they can, uh, martial power, so that um, they, can, they can say they can control and take out uh, the robbers and make sure that the streets are safe. But they really haven't been. Last week, there was a huge mob, a giant battle. Um, they with this uh, compound is raided. Right. The characters were able to kind of hold them off. Able to find a, 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 a secret subplot where um, the mob was more heavily armed than just regular peasants and people. What happened was uh, the guild was actually backing up the mob by being 
able to sell weapons and armor at a cheap price and stuff. So that essentially they were they were armed weapons for people. And so like Obama says, hey, no weapons, no machine guns. <laughs> so then we went to the warehouse where they were shipping out these weapons, and we just burned it down. <laughs> we looted first. There was some looting. Yeah, there was some looting. They got a note, and then we burned it down. Which is surprisingly easier than crates you might have crates expected. Crates and crates and crates of, uh, yeah. of all kinds of stuff. And, and there was a secret note that our friend the monk uh, acquired that explains uh, who's dealing in weapons in Baldur's Gate. And I wrote a song. Fantastic. It was an amazing song. I, we were really inspired. There were some references to the amazing sun god as well. It was beautiful. I cried. There weren't. Uh, why <laughs> pray to the gods who feed on your worship? Dissolve your illusions and see the true nature of things. There's some books that are main characters from the mobile. What are you reading? Leader of the Guild. Magic cards. Uh, leader of the Flames. <laughs> but it's on your character. <laughs> I needed like a battle cry. I think you have 10 minutes to say it too. Magic users can have slow battle cries. That's fair. All right, so you guys have burned down the uh, place. You guys are currently working for the Flaming Fist because it's uh, good to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> um, he calls you in the morning mess. Um, there's a, a large, like right after breakfast, everybody kind of gets together. He'll shoot you wise. And uh, he, um, and he uh, starts to talk to you guys about Ra Raven Claw. Um, Raven Guard? He's, yeah. Ah, right on. Yeah. He thinks he's re leading the Flaming Fists. When in actuality, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling the strings. From the sun, all flames come. Strings being pulled. <laughs> He congratulates uh, the heroes of the wide for stopping um, the flow of arms in the city and, and, and taking care of that peace. With that, they're able to kind of quell and, and subdue the mobs a little bit more. Um, and bring the back to Baldur's Gate. Um, he describes that um, because of uh, last, yesterday's activities, the uh, city is now in martial, under martial law. Fantastic. <laughs> That's exactly what we needed. Um, yeah, we need martial law. What that entails is uh, essentially nobody is allowed to walk around with weapons. So you guys, being part of the Order of the Flaming Fist, must wear your tabards and your shields prominently. Right. Um, and then you won't be. Uh, Cause I just look like cloak four. You have to. <laughs> Even though you're a hero of the wise, uh, the other Raven Guard must be able to recognize you. Otherwise, you'll be stopped. <laughs> possible prison time. And you guys are also encouraged to uh, look for those people that might be carrying around weapons too, as possible uh, rabble rousers. I was hoping to do that. So check this out. While you guys were uh, taking care of the uh, weapon storage area, there was a, a large explosion in the lower city. Um, seven people were killed. And, um, several uh, towns and uh, several homes and businesses were also uh, damaged. Um, eyewitness accounts say that there were funeral carters that were moving a coffin when it dropped and exploded. So I was hoping to go go in the Raven Guard feels that the guild's responsible and that he wants you guys to go and uh, see what you can do to see if that is part of a, a much larger plot. He mentions that um, you guys could be able to search for death records in the high hall. Um, which is located in the upper city. See who uh, runs funeral processions, who runs, uh, who sells and makes carts, or funeral carts, who makes the coffins, things like that. 
And then he gives out a couple of other guard assignments to other guards and soldiers. You know, hey, there's been more, you know, theft activity at this place. Joe, Joe, guys go and, hit and, and you know, uh, shore up that gate over there on the west side. And some patrols need to be uh, taken out along the, along the, the shores, etc. But you guys basically are, are taking out that piece about the explosion. And, and we appreciate you offering us this this chore, but really it's a matter of civil policing that you're looking for. Whereas we noticed that when the riot was attacked by the rich people, one of uh, whatever his name was, Silver Shields, or what's the rich guy's name? His second in command was skulking around with the acolytes. So we would like to go do an investigation and possibly arrest the Duke. <laughs> what evidence do they have? Just we, well, we, we just like to question him and perhaps investigate this because there's no reason for his <laughs> lieutenant to be at that uh, riot, let alone promoting violence against the town. And part of our job, you know, <laughs> understanding why a fire broke out, I mean, that's really important for the Flaming Fist to figure out, but we're after some much bigger fish here. Perhaps you haven't heard of the Ball Spawn Prophecy, which predicts this city is going to burn within a fortnight. <laughs> And this exploding coffin is just one piece of a much larger conspiracy that's probably going to destroy the entire town within two weeks. Yeah. You may investigate Schooned. What's his name? Schooned. Schooned. That's the lieutenant guy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, clearly he has the most to gain by the death of the Archduke. In, in his power uh, grab for Baldur's Gate. We cannot let him rule Baldur's Gate. The man is insane, clearly. He wears a fez. <laughs> Fezzes are cool. No, bow ties are cool, fezes are not cool. No, fezes are no, cool. There is nothing it, cool about Shriner. fezes. Yeah, exactly. Shriner's not cool. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I agree with them. Counterpoint. <laughs> uh, I. I think Raven Fist or whoever has Raven a good Claw. <laughs> That's Gryffindor. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think Raven Claw has a good point that we don't really have enough evidence to pursue Scoot or whoever this cat is. We have a right drunk now. monk. We don't need evidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, that's a good point. Speaking of which, we need operating expenses. Yeah, a, a, a good way to acquire these operating expenses is to no, but we be, need, is to be Raven Ma's errand boy. We need per diem money. <laughs> <laughs> just do a little unsanctioned yeah. questioning of Raven's Law. Magic Raven's, that's what I need. Just keep so, our... Uh, but I think either way, going to High Town where the Hall of Records is solves both our problems. It gets you, it gets you closer to people that you can ask about Schooned or what have you. Right. It, get, it gets us closer to records of who does funeral stuff and... But we could burn the record hall down. It's always an option. Half us go... The Split the party. Split I like the party. what you're thinking. Half research, <laughs> the other half, hide your regalia of the put you for shows what group we're with. Kind of uh, quietly kidnap Scoon and question him in like a side room or something. Bail boarding for the win. <laughs> So, as the bard, I want to go to the Hall of Records because I think there's, there's going to be cool shit there that I'm going to be interested in whether or not I care about this area. Okay. What are you guys doing? We'll go to the Hall of Records. I demand payment. You guys do get a weekly stipend, but it's not a full weekend. It's tough being a fan of this. We got 50 gold from five of last week. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was 75. <laughs> Didn't we agree on 75? No, 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 no. 75 was in your hand. Yeah, that's what you wanted, but <laughs> what he could afford. So for we had to just look for other people I will on the way that had to have like gold. some kind of weapon. Easy, 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 easy. Yeah. What about some minions? Don't you want some minions? Some minions? We should get some. Them solved. We should get some flaming fish foot soldiers to go with us. Find some of the weapons that were weapons. To, to go read books, 
knock them out and see yeah. where they're going. Well, no, martial law. Dude. Got we just confiscate the library. Me, I got a flavor. Okay. Okay. I, hear, sure. I hear you about first law. <laughs> Go off and I put one burn their library. Yeah. I have to read it first. I'm an orc. Yeah, well, we have to confiscate <laughs> we, we understand. <laughs> I understand that there's some very, very uh, <laughs> mutinous books in this library. Save it for when I'm And records, falsified records. Try your ale the next time we fight. We need a, we need a purging flame of truth. Heck <laughs> off. Um. I'll take your I can write. I have some paper. Yes. We're gonna be in the hall of records right now. You want <laughs> you want to rest? Scoot. Yeah, yeah, yes. He wants me to drink his ale. Drink the ale, man. So welcome aboard. So all this about falsifying yeah. records. The best ale you've ever had. We could make something of this. Let's see. <laughs> Into fifteen. Bardic skills, I could probably forge some Yeah, stuff. let's get in there, man. How is it? Where, they, where did it come from? Okay, uh, while you guys are going through the upper city, you notice that there are some heaps of trash that have been removed. Some things are being taken care of now. Um, everybody make me a perception check. Perception? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not proceeding much today. And you get to add, remember your proficiency bonus. As well as your wisdom. I got a ten. Yeah, I don't think it helped. I got a ten. I threed it. Which my I threed it. Just tell me your total. No, I didn't. Seventeen. Ten. Six. <laughs> Critical fail. <laughs> Is that a negative one? No, it's, no, it's one. But I get plus two, so it's three. Oh, nice. uh, that cop said a donut store, you're much more uh, <laughs> interested in what's in front of no, you. No, we're just burning <laughs> stuff down, man. How sad is it that the orc, yeah, you know, orc dude. barbarian has the highest wisdom You're paying here. attention. <laughs> 17. Well, 17's a roll. More than half the party failed, so it's a party. Can I get breath <laughs> oh, Damn it. To improve my damage, can I get breath <laughs> You can't get knuckle dusters, but I think they still do these things too. Get some rocks, tape them to your hand. Can I do that? Can I take rocks? Can he? I have now taped rocks to my hand. But you can't hold ale anymore. I have now untaped rocks. Oh, you just hold the ale like this. <laughs> the hell is more important. <laughs> the picture of the high hall. Uh, you guys are also given a writ. Um, usually, uh, to be able to get in here, this is where all the laws and everything are enacted. <laughs> it's um, essentially like Wait. Congress, uh, where a lot of the nobles meet and uh, representatives of the city meet to pass laws, determine prices for certain things, what could be maximum you know, charge, etc. Um, the person meets you at the front gate and kind of halts you. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we had this Heroes of this the Wide coming through. Hit him. <laughs> I drink my L and I drunk. <laughs> You're getting there. <laughs> so we have this writ of ATS. Like, that was uh, the greatest role for him. Bookus. I drink my L and I drunk. It's like this bookus. Yes. Okay, he reads it over and um, let you in. Um, large standard library. Uh, one of the wings that's far off. You see that there is in the main hall where a lot of the senators and nobles and stuff sit. Uh, a lot of new construction has been going on. Uh, they've built like a whole entire second floor. They've put new cars for support pieces. Brand new walls. Anybody here a dwarf? My character is very short. <laughs> Does not count. Human dwarf. Um, 
I guess this is a, basically a skill challenge. Um, be an intelligence check. Um, anybody that has any type of background that might be able to help them to get an additional plus five. Bart, Bart acknowledge. Yeah. I'm a sage. Bart. Sage, yeah, sage, yeah, yeah, sage yeah, mage. Anybody else? So I'm Bart? plus seven plus four. Plus What's your background? What's that? What's your background? background? My background, background? Yeah, yeah. like um, they have like classes yeah. like a commoner, sailor, Min Min soldier, minstrel, that sort of thing. Temple minstrel. services. Okay. Wow, it sounds like I'm a janitor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, because uh, you know, a lot of the churches do like uh, death rites and funeral. You belong to a specific temple dedicated to your deity, the sun god. Right. So, yeah, you, you have residents there and you perform religious ceremonies and offer sermons around from the safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's. I'm a skilled member. I'm a janitor. 23. 23? 15. Yeah. Wisdom modifier, right? 17. No, it's intelligence. But you get to add plus 5 if you're, you're back down. 18. 18. 17. 17. 17. 17. I'm at plus 11. 23. I have the Lord yeah. ability that gives me um, cultural lore and military lore. I get a plus 10 bonus. Can I use that for this or is that extra? Uh, no. It's for Hobgoblin. <laughs> Does it have to do with Hobgoblin? No. Okay. Hobgoblinry? Just making sure. Boom! Um, I rolled a. Um, <laughs> Intelligence uh, and, and your proficiency bonus. Uh, 16. What's the 16? proficiency bonus again? Everybody's is plus two. Oh, to everything? 25. Uh, I got a lot of them. To if it's to everything? Uh, yeah, so okay. any type of skill checks. Uh, okay, then. Yeah, 18. <laughs> Definitely. Sounds I've like rolled, only you I've did make a, it. You made it like a ten. Um, I I got a ten. I rolled a natural nine. Bad nine. Bad nine. Bad nine. Boom. I, got I wouldn't care if six was nine. Eleven total. Okay. It is if you look at it right. If the hippies cut their hair, dude, I don't care. <laughs> the hippies cut their hair. <laughs> yeah. I think they cut their hair. You got hair. Yeah, Hendrix, man, come on. <laughs> Your mom cut her hair. <laughs> Are we filming? <laughs> Let me get a close-up on this one, Brian. This could be an award-winning mom joke. Go ahead. <laughs> As he jokes. <laughs> jokes. Your mom cut her hair yeah. last night. Yeah, good. That's good. Not the hair on her head. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, Brian. <laughs> Your mom didn't make any sense last night when I was done with her. 